Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about few ways to identify sensitive information in a website. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and LinkedIn. And if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. So as we uh, discussed earlier, so today's topic is going to be on sensitive information uh, bugs. Like, uh, like you try to identify sensitive information of a particular website, which has some sort of a bug bounty or some sort of uh, uh, vulnerability disclosure program and once you report them and if the bug is valid and also if it is not duplicate then there is a good chance that the, that the company may pay you so i reported several of them in uh, my uh, bug bounty journey and even you can follow these steps like these are not only all the steps okay there are other steps as well which we will be discussing so the first one uh, which i already told you several times that i recently reported a bug using something called as google dorking so Google docking is nothing but like an efficient way to uh, search on Google. So if you do, if you want to learn more about Google docking, I made a detailed video. So I'll leave the link for that in the description below. So you can check that out from there. So for example, you can go to something like, for example, site uh, Microsoft.com and you can, I simply search for a file type so for like XLS. Okay, so this is what I searched for, to be honest, like I mentioned the site name, I'm not going to mention the site name and also the file type I mentioned as like Excel. So, and I found an Excel sheet which consists of like their employees details, uh, which even consists of their like PAN card, uh, the mobile number, their address, their salary. Okay, there are like so much sensitive, uh, so much sensitive information I reported to their organization, but I think the organization is not interested in those stuff. So. Uh, I didn't got any response from that and also the same happened uh, for a university so I simply searched for a university uh, URL like the site and also I mentioned a file XLS so these days as the uh, campus hirings and placements are going through online right so uh, colleges maintain a large chunk of uh, Excel sheets or like data sheets like which consists of all the information of the students so i found one of that excel sheet which consists of all the student details like their phone number address and also what companies they are placed in and also their mobile number so these all are like personal information so if these get into this uh, like uh, scammers or like someone they may harass them so these are this is one of the sensitive information you can try to find out some personal identity information pii identifiable information sorry and if you if the, if if, uh, if it comes under that you can report like i think there are no restrictions for like uh, sensitive information like every company which has like a vulnerability disclosure program has this thing up so you can go and check that out it's very simple so, and also there is one more style called as uh, So Google hacking database, so GHDB. So here also you can find some other docs here. Like you can simply search for like SQL. Okay, uh, you have like all docs for the SQL. Like you, ha you have something like uh, index of and sort of stuff. So you can simply search for them. So these all are docs, okay. So you can try with some websites and uh, uh, it, may be, it may be really helpful for you. Like sometimes you might find very uh, sensitive information. So one, I recently read a report where a person was able to find a .SQL file which can dot sql file generally command uh, generally can uh, have all those commands like sql commands and in one of the sql command they disclose the password of an administrator so that is one thing so just go through all this ghdb as well as google docking and uh, it uh, like in the initial phase like in the recon phase and uh, if you are really lucky and also if the website has some sort of a uh, you know uh, this sort of stuff then you can definitely report it and also don't uh, keep in mind that uh, for every website these sort of vulnerabilities exist no only depends upon how they uh, uh, configured and stuff okay and the next one which is very popular is like uh, fuzzing so you generally get like a group of subdomains okay so you, i hope you know what subdomains is so so subdomain for example if you take microsoft.com as a domain so uh, carriage.microsoft.com 
uh, like there are several office 365 dot microsoft dot com all this comes under subdomains so first of all identify the subdomains okay and even subdomains also some subdomains may uh, disclose some vulnerable information or like some sensitive information so you can do check that out but most of the time it is very uh, useful to fuzz those subdomains so go through those sub uh, subdomains one by one through a word list so i'll provide a, one of the good word list in the description below so where you can check that out so the word list has all you know like it it has like couple of words like which are like sensitive words uh which like dot kit or so, sort of stuff so just first through that word list and uh, yeah there is a good chance that your ip may be blocked but uh, if you have a vps or sort of stuff then it will definitely work so go through the word list and sometimes you might find some files uh, which should not be disclosed okay they should be like uh, 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 uh which should not be disclosed okay so i hope you got it like dot git files or like some uh, files which might like dot sql files or some sort of stuff so keep this in mind so whenever you are doing fuzzing so uh, like once you get the subdomains go through those subdomains like no need to go through all the subdomains but some subdomains might be fairly new so you can get it from uh, you can get the subdomain information from the who is lookup so go through the subdomains which are fairly new and those have like good chance uh, with uh, they may disclose some sensitive information and the third one is github dot king so github you i hope you all 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 of you guys know it so github is like a place where you can uh most of the uh where you can find code like people upload their code companies upload their code and sort of stuff so for example, if you're targeting some company called as X and for example, the company might have their own GitHub repository. So once I reported a vulnerability, uh, like a sensitive information where I was able to uh, identify an API key, which is like a vulnerable, like it's not a general API key. Uh, I could do some sort of exploitation with that API key as well, uh, which is uh, like hard coded into an app. Uh, up android application source code so i just gone through that company's uh, you, uh like you know the github profile and i gone through a few applications and there it consists uh, like an api key and that api key is like very vulnerable i reported it like not vulnerable it's like sensitive i reported it. it's uh, unfortunate it's duplicate but yeah it's fine so i already made a detailed video on github dorking so there are few terms and stuff you need to follow in order to find out the information not only the companies uh, some people uh, some employees may be part of that company may also disclose some information so you can just go through that so i leave the link for that video in the description below so github dorking will work absolutely fine okay so this is also one of the major stuff like i've seen some uh some bug bounty hunters like earning like thousands like uh, thousands like uh, five five uh, five figure mark also they reached through this github dorking so they reported some very sensitive information so just go through this uh, go through this github dorking so in the in initial phase and you'll find some good information so and the last one is a javascript files okay so so javascript files you all know it's like a uh, for example a website consists of some uh, sort of files like html files for like it's like a structure css files for like beautification javascript files for uh, you know for backend uh, application and sort of stuff so some javascript files may have some hard coded uh, you know credentials or like just go through the javascript file like you can see you can find it with an extension called as .js extension when, whenever you are fuzzing okay uh, for example during fuzzing Uh, during fuzzing or uh, source code during like fuzzing or while uh, analyzing the source code you will find some couple of javascript extensions so there is also few uh, extensions in burp suit so if you are uh, if you are using burp suit so there are few extensions like javascript uh, javascript url apps uh, finders or sort of stuff so they what that thing is like when when you're fuzzing through it or like when you're spidering it or like when you're scanning it so if it finds any uh locations which uh which shows like dot js files or like sort of stuff it just note it down so it is also very useful so javascript files like i personally didn't found any vulnerability or uh, didn't find any vulnerability in this like by, by going through this but I read several reports saying that the JavaScript files, they'll work absolutely fine. So these are like the top four uh, guys. Like this is not the complete uh, thing as I told you earlier. These are like most of the time you see whenever you see some sort of like sensitive information, uh, sensitive 
information disclosure or sensitive information vulnerability disclosure vulnerability so most of the time these four may come okay like uh, as i told you some of them i reported personally and some of them i've gone through reports and also some other fellow bug bounty hunters so this is not this is just part one so do let me know if there are anything that i need to cover uh, which comes under this sensitive information disclosure so some people may say like uh, you, you can go through the source code and you might find out like some sort of hard coded credentials but this is 2023 and i see like uh, like only only one percent of those websites may consist of like source code may consist of like hard coded credentials or like some important information in the source code so it's ultimately your choice if you want you can go through but uh, i didn't i don't have it in my you know workflow so even that is also one thing if you want to check uh, i hope you found this video helpful and if you have any suggestions for the next part uh, like any methods to find out sensitive information in the next part just let me know in the comments i'll consider it for uh, the next video and if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in these sort of stuff and this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you